The Trinidad and Tobago Football Association now over the initial shock of being taken over by the world governing body for the sport is challenging the move in court. TTFA President William Wallace said on Wednesday that the association had mounted a challenge to the FIFA's decision at the Court of Arbitration for Sport. On Tuesday, FIFA said that the TTFA board would be replaced by a normalization committee to restore governance and financial stability to the organization. It took the decision after an assessment it carried out in conjunction with Continental Governing Body CONCACAF found extremely low overall financial management methods combined for massive debt that resulted in the local body facing a very real risk of insolvency and illiquidity. In an initial reaction, Wallace, whose team took over from the David John Williams-led executive last November, said he was surprised by the move. But he told local media on Wednesday that he has now given his lawyers authorization to challenge FIFA's decision. The TTFA has retained the services of prominent sports lawyers Dr. Emery Crown and Matthew Gale. In announcing the appointment of the Normalization Committee, FIFA said that the current financial situation was putting the TTFA and the development of football in the Twin Island Republic at risk and that corrective measures need to be applied urgently. It said the committee would have up to two years to do its work, which would include creating a debt repayment plan that the TTFA could implement and oversee new elections for an executive committee to run the TTFA again. But Wallace was puzzled about why such drastic action was being taken, considering no such move was made against the last administration from which his executive inherited a multi-million dollar debt. And he questioned why new elections would be needed. Wallace's United TTFA team defeated Team Impactors, led by John Williams, back in November for the 2019 elections. In the build-up to the vote, John Williams had appeared to have the support of FIFA president and CONCACAF president, who visited the island for the grand opening of his home of football complex in Cover.